Don't put it off till tomorrow. Tomorrow may be too late. Hallelujah. There's people in hell tonight that put it off and put it off. You know, only Jesus can fix this thing with you. Hallelujah. It took Jesus to fix my life, to get me out of sin, forgive me, and write my name in the Lamb Book of Life, Brother Junior. Hallelujah. Praise God. But I appreciate Brother Ted tonight. He's a great young man, loves the Lord. You know, the Bible says, despise not thy youth. And we need our young people tonight. Praise God. We need them to, that's doing the work for God. And, and we, we sure appreciate him tonight and his walk with God and, and a great word that he give you out there. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. But don't forget tonight, if you're sick in body, that God still heals the sick. Praise God. God still sets the captive free. If you're sick in body tonight, call in your prayer request. Hallelujah. And we'll pray with you tonight and believe God with you. Hallelujah. But I'm going to read a couple of scriptures here. Uh, and from the book of Acts, the 24th chapter and the 24th and 25th verse. Praise God. I'll give them time to get the Bible here. Yeah. Hallelujah. This kind of goes along with what Ted was talking about. Praise the Lord. I would not want a bunch of frogs in my house sleeping with me and running, you know, just climbing everywhere, all this thing. I don't want, I don't want sin in my house. I want Jesus in my house. When Jesus is in the house, he makes all the difference. Praise God. All right. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Give the Lord a hand, church. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Praise God. All righty. The 24th chapter, the 24th verse. My voice is a little dragging out, so pray for me. Hallelujah. And after certain days, when Felix came with his wife, Drusilla, which was a Jewish, and he sent for Paul and heard him concerning the faith in Christ. And as he reasoned of righteousness and temperance and judgment to come, Felix trembled and answered, Go thy way, for this time, when I have a convenient season, I will call for thee. Hallelujah. I want to speak just a few minutes. Praise God. Brother Ted was talking about putting things off till tomorrow. Tomorrow might be too late. Hallelujah. We don't have a promise for the next minute in our life. Praise God. But while we're alive, we have that time to get it right with God. Hallelujah. Only thing is going to matter in this life. Brother Jonathan, praise God that when we stand before God that we've got it right with God. Hallelujah. This man right here said wait till convenient season. Wait till some other time. Hallelujah. I'm glad when God called me, praise God, Sister Mary, that I didn't wait till another day. Hallelujah. I'm glad that I bowed down on my knees. God, I need you in my life. Hallelujah. I need you now, Lord. Praise God. That God came into my life. I'm glad that I didn't put it off till tomorrow and wait for a convenient season because I'm in another had it tomorrow, hallelujah. There's people tonight, praise God, that's in hell tonight because some preacher bagged them and bagged them, warned them not to go to that place. They put it off somewhere they died and didn't make it, hallelujah to God. I'm glad I'm saved tonight. I'm glad that Jesus is in my life, hallelujah. Praise God. Glory be to God. Don't put it off till tomorrow, hallelujah. Let me tell you something out there tonight. First of all, Jesus loves you, hallelujah. Praise God. Ted shared the story of Christ going to the cross. We love you here at this station tonight. Everybody in here to love you. We can't save you. We didn't shed not one drop of blood for you. Sometimes we shed a little sweat preaching the gospel. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. But it was Christ that died for you that you could come and have life and have it more abundantly. Hallelujah. Oh, a convenient time. Hallelujah. Putting it off till tomorrow, when tomorrow may never come, praise God. But the Bible said here in verse, this, uh, in verse 25, and as he reasoned of righteousness, praise God, and as he reasoned of righteousness and tempest and judgment to come, the apostle Paul was a righteous man. He stood here before Felix the governor. And Sister Tina, he stood there, he began giving his testimony. How God no doubt saved him. Hallelujah. Praise God. But this man said, listen here just a minute. Let me go back a minute. And tempest to come and judgment, I mean in judgment to come, judgment is coming. Judgment is coming up on this nation. Hallelujah. Judgment is coming up on this lost and dying world. Praise God. These people out there living so much for the devil, doing every kind of devil worship they can. Swift destruction is coming upon people right now as we speak. Hallelujah. 
But praise be unto God. Judgment is coming. We're going to all stand before God one day. Whether we've done good or whether we've done bad. Thanks be unto God. If you've been a Christian, praise God, and you lived your life for Jesus, I want you to know you won't be judged for your sin. Hallelujah. But you will be judged for what you've done for God. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah. A convenient time. What is it tonight that's holding you back, keeping you come from God? Come to God, I mean. Listen to me. You out there, you're sitting there in your house, they some of you, you have that whiskey bottle sitting out there beside you on recliner. You're sitting out there with that bottle of beer sitting out there beside you. Hallelujah. You, you're sitting there, and there's some of you, you, you just so shaking, you're trembling for another drink, for another fix of drug or whatever it may be. I want you to know, praise God, right now is a convenient time for you to come to God and to get set free. Praise God of that sin, that bondage that's holding you down. Hallelujah. You give your life to God that you can serve God, and God will heal you. He will set you free. Praise God. God will deliver you. Hallelujah. From destruction that's set before you. Hallelujah. They some of your marriage.